as to defendant James Crumley, it is the sentence of this court that you serve 10 to 15 years with the Michigan Department of Corrections. In the first case of its kind, parents of a school shooter were both sentenced to 10 to 15 years behind bars. It came after testimony from the victim's family members. You failed as parents. The punish punishment that you face will never be enough. It will never bring her back. It will never be a loss that you have suffered and it will never heal the pain. Because one day you're gonna be able to see your son visit, hear his voice, possibly laugh, maybe see him grow. I will never see that again. James and Jennifer Crumbly were sentenced one after the other. Their son, the now 17-year-old Ethan Crumbly, was sentenced to life in prison in December after pleading guilty to the 2021 shooting at Oxford High School in suburban Detroit. Four students were killed, ranging in age from 14 to 17. His parents were convicted of four counts of involuntary manslaughter, one for each person their son killed. Prosecutors said Ethan's parents could have prevented the shooting with tragically simple actions. In closing arguments, the prosecutor showed how a cable lock found in a package at the family's home could have secured the gun, which James bought just days before the shooting. A day after the gun purchase, Jennifer Crumbly took Ethan to a gun range. And the following Tuesday, a teacher said she found a note depicting a drawing of a gun and a person who had been shot. The message read, the thoughts won't stop help me. The school had a meeting with the Crumbleys. However, they refused to take him home and went back to work. Officials with the school said if they had known Ethan had a gun, they would have been more authoritative to ensure immediate safety. That afternoon, Ethan killed four fellow students. The Crumbleys are the first parents in U.S. history to be charged in their child's mass shooting at a school.